Hello everyone. I welcome uh, welcome you again. So today we have Shakshi Gupta with, with us. She is uh, she has done BSc, MSc in physics from Delhi University. She is currently doing uh, her PhD from ISER Kolkata in astrophysics. So welcome Shakshi. Yeah, uh, thanks Puneet for inviting me. And uh, I'm glad to know that you have started such a nice platform where you are asking for the experience of research scholars from different academic backgrounds. So that's really a great uh, initiative. Thank you so much. So we'll start uh, by knowing about your uh, academic background and how did you decide to become a researcher? Or physics, mein kaise aapko interest hai? we want to know a little bit about uh, Okay. So uh, myself, Sakshi, I am from Madhya Pradesh, Chhatarpur. So I completed my schooling from uh, uh, my hometown itself. And then after completing my 12th, I moved to Delhi. Uh, there, I was a bit confused about choosing between BSc honors in physics or chemistry. But uh, then I used to be a student who get good marks in physics who like uh, numerical solving and also the theories of physics kind of fascinate me. So at that time, that was the only motivation that I have. So I choose the BSc Honours Physics. And uh, for that, I have taken the admission in Miranda House, Delhi University. And I must say that is a great college. I have learned a lot of life lessons from there. And I'm still proud to be a Mirandian. So after that, uh, I had enough curiosity and uh, motivation after completing my graduation to still continue physics. So uh, then I completed my master's in physics from Delhi University. And uh, there, uh, in, in the first year, we had the common courses, like uh, all the subjects, quantum, condensed matter and everything. But in second year, we have to take a specialization course. So for that, I have taken astrophysics as my specialization that since it was still uh, an unexplored field and a curious subject. So, so astrophysics always attracts people. So I took that as a uh, my specialization. There, uh, Delhi University has a good astrophysics so classes. So we had this observational lab as well as theory. So for observation, uh, we used to do the nighttime observations where we observe the stars and then calculate the luminosity and all. So that that work is, uh, I mean, that has a strong impact on me and then theory classes were really amazing. So from that, I thought of building my career in astrophysics. And now I'm here in Iser Kolkata, building my career, exploring the field of astrophysics and as a second year research scholar. Okay, that's wonderful, wonderful journey till now. Uh, so, uh, can you tell us uh, what all opportunities are there? Somebody uh, completes PhD in physics. So, somebody wants to go mm -hmm. in academics, and let's say somebody does not choose academics uh, as a career. So, what all opportunities are available for them? Uh, for first of all, I would say if somebody is doing completing his PhD, if if uh, he has interest in his field, then I think he should go for postdoc. And uh, in my lab also, I've seen the seniors getting amazing best offers from the national as well as international institute. And there is this assistant professor job, of course, and then scientific officer. Other than that, if, if somebody wants to switch from academia to industry, then nowadays I have seen that uh, industry have also taken interest in hiring the research scholar. So basically it depends upon the skills that you have developed during the PhD right. tenure, right? Because right. industry is looking for these skills only. So if, if let's say you have the skill of data analysis, you have a, a command over machine learning, deep learning, or let's say some other programming language. So of course, industry will prefer you over other candidates. And uh, yes. many of my friends are in IT sector. So from them, I get to know that there is this um, research and development section in many of the industries for which right. they, they potentially seek the PhD candidates. So yeah, these there are opportunities and industries gradually uh, increasing the opportunity for research scholars. Okay, wonderful. Uh, so will you want to share something about your selection procedure at ICER? ICER me kya procedure okay right so Iser kolkata uh, it invites application twice a year so uh, the 
minimum prerequisite is that you should have at least 60% marks in your MSc. And then uh, there is some procedure then at the external granting is available under some professor for some particular project, but usually they call on the basis of your net GRF ranking. So net GRF is must. So after that, uh, the application procedure is more or less similar like other institute. But there, uh, here you have all, they will also ask for the recommendation letter from some of your professors who already know you. And uh, at you, uh, before your interview, you need to choose uh, from the list of supervisors under whom you want to work. So okay. although you don't need to exactly know what you want to work on, uh, you don't need to exactly know the project, but at least you should have a broad idea that let's say in physics, you want to work in uh, condensed matter or astrophysics or yes. some other field. So then those professors will take your interview and then yeah, you will be selected. Here, uh, I would like to highlight one point that uh, I did not know during my master's. So, Iser Kolkata host uh, institute, which is called SESI, Center of Excellence in Space Sciences Research. It yeah. mostly focuses on research in space sciences. So, uh, let's say uh, if, if uh, somebody wants to pursue their career in astronomy, space science, uh, general theory of relativity, then they should apply there because it has a different application and selection procedure. And it usually happens once a year. I was thankful enough to my supervisor that he considered me through this uh, physics, uh, Iser Kolkata procedure. But, uh, but uh, I would advise a student to apply here uh, separately because here you can choose a range of supervisor from other very renowned institute like Ayuka, IIT Indore, ISRO, ARIES, et cetera. So, okay. Yeah. okay, wonderful. So what all things a researcher should be aware of? while doing their uh, research work. In general, what uh, should a PhD scholar? Uh, first of all, uh, it is a great opportunity to, be, uh, to pursue higher study because if you are pursuing higher studies, you will get to know the best minds of your field. You will have the opportunity to interact with them. And uh, there will be, of course, up and down in your field. There, this, there is, there will be stress, uh, anxiety, some, some family problems. So, PhD is a mixture of all the emotions. So, there will be those. But uh, instead of, uh, I mean, demotivating from them, you should have this potential that these are the experience with which you will become an independent researcher. Because it is not a kind of degree that you will just complete. Here, uh, there will be time that no one, no one would be able to help you out. So it is the you that you have to motivate yourself. So Very these true. points should be taken care of. You should improve your writing skills. You should have this ability to contact uh, to other, I mean, other worlds, let's say. <laughs> you should do that more often. And uh, okay. then, yeah, present your work, talks, give talks, etc. Okay, thank you so much uh, for sharing your experience with us. Uh, Apne kahi paper presentation bhi kiya hua hai, poster presentation. So do you want to share your experience with us? Uh, yeah, so I, I presented a poster at Astronomical Society of India this, uh, this year only. So uh, it was based on my work that I have done till now. And uh, I mean, I don't know if this is a right time to share my work, but okay. I, I would say that uh, you should... Uh, uh, I mean, poster presentation is it's itself a great experience because uh, there, uh, there in, in a conference, there, there will be a lot of people, you will be getting a lot of suggestions from other people that how you can improve yes. your work, what, what else you should do, what you, because if you are sitting in your lab and that, at that time, you won't be able to think much. But if yes. you get to know and interact many people, then you will have various ideas. And of course, if you go to some conference, you, you have the opportunity to visit, roam around. And very true, that's very fun. true, very true. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you so much, Saksi, for sharing your learning and experience with us. Thank you so much. Hmm.